I've heard my dad say that since I was a kid. Good pitching beats good hitting. Uh, I mean, it's a cliche, but if you're the best hitter in the league, you're going three for 10, you know, 33 for 100 maybe. So that right there, I mean, good pitching is going to beat that uh, more times than not. So pitching and defense too, it goes hand in hand. But, we're, you know, the name on the back of the jersey, you can have these superstars, but I'll, I'll take our pitching staff up against any lineup. You do need hitting, though. You, you got to score to win. <laughs> you got to at least score one more than the other team. Any more pressure for you being the ace of this staff, this team? Uh, not really. I mean, once you're in the clubhouse and you're with the guys, I don't really feel the pressure. Um, you know, I also think we have a lot of aces on the staff. Kind of sounds cliche, but like I really do. I mean, you, you can put Joe, Archer, Trevor out there any given night. Those dudes can go seven, eight innings with no runs. So um, I don't have the weight of the world on my shoulders. We have a lot of guys that can do it. I mean, right now it's no secret that the free agent market's um, not really going down the way players want it to, to go down. So I don't know if it's one thing that's contributing to it, but the system's kind of in a weird place right now, and there's some tensions. So um, we have some time before the next CBA, but um, you know, players are talking, and, and I've even noticed in this locker room, guys are getting engaged in the conversation. Do you have any ideas? How do you, I mean, how do you fix that? We're two years away. Yeah, uh, I don't really know. We have two years to figure it out. Um, you know, one thing I think right now is that if, if veterans and free agents aren't, aren't making the money, um, you know, I'd like to see younger players getting compensated for the work. Um, you know, they're not wanting to buy out veterans that they claim are past their prime, but guys aren't getting called up any younger either. So they're, you know, kind of using the system to get to get guys for their their prime years. What they you know say is 24 to 30, 25 to 31, 32, um, and then by the time you're a free agent, you're past your prime, and they've they've gotten their use out of you, and you're done. So it just seems a little broken to me right now.